Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how to make this diamond wire weave. And this is what it can look like. So I kind of have two different versions here. I've done one where I have the diamonds right next to each other continuously. And then I've done one where I've spaced them out with more wraps in between every single one. So it gives a completely different look as you can see. And it's the exact same technique. We're just adding in some more wraps between the diamonds there. So you can really use whichever one you want to. You can also space them out even more, that's completely up to you. But if you want to learn how to make this wrap, then keep watching. So what I'm going to use to demonstrate with is five lengths here on my 1mm gauge wire and these are going to be the base wires. Now you don't have to use five, you can really use how many or few wires as you want. The only thing is I would say you have to use an uneven amount. So say five like this or seven or however many you want to use will work just fine. And then also the weaving wire I'm going to be using is a 0.4mm wire and this is going to be great to wrap around the 1mm base wires there. So I'm going to start out by taking one of my base wires and then my weaving wire as well and I just need to attach my weaving wire to my base wire first of all so we can comfortably start working with it. So what I'm going to do is lay my weaving wire behind the base wire and then wrap it around the base wire. You can just do a couple of times, it's sufficient, like that until it comes back down behind and towards the bottom there. So now what we need to do is add in the next few base wires and we're going to add them in two at a time here because this one that we've just started off using, wrapping around the wing wire with, that's actually going to be the middle wire. So then what I'm going to do is add in my next base wire above it and then another base wire below it. So one base wire on each side of the one that we wrap the wing wire around. And I just leave a little tail of my weaving wire to be able to hold on to, like that. You can obviously wrap more around the middle one if you want to as well. But we're just going to get into the weave here. So what we want to do now is the weaving wire is coming down behind the base wires here and all the way to the bottom, around the bottom base wire. So what you can do is just separate out your base wires a little bit here to help weave in between them. You can always just gently give them a little bend outward makes it a little bit easier. So what I'm going to do is take my ba my weaving wire, wrap it across the top of all the base wires and again down behind. So it looks like that. Make sure you're not, when you're doing this wrap across all of them, that you're not going across the single wraps that you did on the middle one. But next to them, and again I'm coming down underneath, go, go across all of them once more and come down behind again. So I've now done that twice around all three wires. So that's the first one. And then I need to add in my last base wires. So I take the next one above all the others and the last one below them all. So again, one on each side of the wires that we're already working with. Like that. Again, you can just separate out all your wires here. Again, just gently bend them out at the ends to make it a little bit easier to weave in between. So, now that I'm there, I want to now wrap around all of these base wires together. So basically just what we just did, except there's another two base wires in them as well. So go around below the bottom one, across all the top of all of them. Again, making sure you go next to your previous wrap and you don't go over the top of that one. Behind all of them and across the top of all of them again. So every time I do this, I do it twice and then down behind. Now what you want to do as well, pay attention to, is when you're doing these wraps, you don't want to pull too tight on your weaving wire because you can see here, when wrapping across the top of all of them, if you pull too tight, that means your base wires are going to start wanting to work in towards each other, which means that when we're going to step down again, as we're going to do now, we won't have space for the weaving wire to go in between if we make it too tight. So when you're wrapping around all multiple wires here, of the base wires, with your weaving wire, instead of pulling on it, just try and guide your wire around. But then we need to step down again now to get this diamond shape. So instead of going all the way below the bottom wire, base wire, I need to come up between the two bottom ones. So go all the way out to the side, come up between the two bottom ones, and then push that all the way up that helps push that nice and close together as well, make it nice and tight, the weave. 
and then we need to replicate what we did on the other side of the wrap around all of them so that means we need to come down between the top two because we only want to wrap around the middle three of these ones here just like the step before that we did like that push it all the way down again make sure that you're not pulling too hard on this one as well because if you pull this too hard say for instance here when I need to go between these two wires to wrap around the middle one that could end up being too tight and then I won't be able to get my weaving wire in there which obviously would kind of mess up the weave itself a little bit so just try and make sure you're not pulling too hard in your weaving wire but rather guiding it along like that so we've gone around once and now we need to go around the same wires again so we're going to come up between the two bottom ones push it down not pulling too hard on my weaving wire lay it across the top of all the wires and then we need to come down between the top two there we go again not pulling just guiding my wire I want to make sure my wires are not going to get too tight and push it nicely and close together your weave there so now we've almost completed the first diamond we just need to go back to just wrapping around the middle wire on its own just like we did at the beginning to attach the wire the weaving wire there so that means I come up between the second and third one so you just want to kind of step up one but it's just basically to wrap around the middle one on its own so I have two on each side of the middle one wrap around that one come down on the other side of that middle one push your weaving wire tight push it all the way down and again come around that once more so up in the same place that you did before and then down around that middle wire again and then this is really a point where you can make a decision then this is the basic technique of the weave you can really decide then how long you want in between how far a distance you want between each diamond you can either start the next one straight away and have them really close or you can make a longer distance so that means say you could wrap around more around that middle wire on its own before you then start the next diamond that's completely up to you and how you want the weave to look so what I'm going to do here is just continue with my next diamond straight away to show you how that's going to look and then on the other end I'm going to do where there's a bit more space so you can see how both look but I'm just going to go through it again to go straight on to the next diamond here you can always again just separate out your wires at the end it makes it a bit easier to work with so we're at the middle so that means we need to step up one you could kind of say so instead of wrapping around just the middle one on its own we need to wrap around the three middle ones so that means as I'm stepping down I want to come up between the bottom two base wires and pull my wire up between them over the top of all my base wires and then down between the top two to wrap around the middle three there again making sure that this wrap is lying next to the previous one and not on top of it so your weave itself stays nice and flat because you're weaving away you don't want that to cross over itself along the way and again remembering to not pull too tight in your weaving wire but just guide it along come up between the bottom two again to do it one more time to make it twice across the three on the top down between the top two and then down behind all the base wires again until your weaving wire comes out towards the bottom so that's the first step of the next diamond so now to make it complete the widest part of the diamond there we need to go across the top of all of them so that means I'm just guiding my wire so I'm not pulling here I'm just simply guiding it across the top again having my weaving wire lined flat next to the previous wraps down behind all the way behind all the base wires up again below the bottom one and across the top once more and like I said we're doing it twice around every time we're on a step here and now to step back down to go to the 
point of the diamond again on the side. We want to come up between the two bottom base wires. Bring it up, don't pull, just bring it up and then push it down to tighten up your weave there as well. That really helps tighten it up by pushing it down with your weaving wire there. Now to wrap around the three middle ones again, go down between the top two base wires and then to wrap around the three middle ones twice we do the exact same thing so come up between the bottom two go across the top of the three in the middle and down between the top two there we go push it tight and then we're back to just wrapping around the very middle wire on its own to just finish off this diamond and be able to start the next one there we go, push it down. Remembering to make sure you leave space between your base wires so you're not pulling too hard. So we can fit in the weaving wire here as we come down as well. And then this is the next one. Push it nice and tight together. So you get your nice, nicely shaped diamonds there after each other. It's gonna look a little something like that. And obviously you can just keep going like this and like I said it's up to you how much spacing you want between each diamond as well. And then what I also just want to mention, a little tip that can be helpful. If you're struggling with keeping the distance between your base wires here, because it can be a little bit difficult especially at the beginning. So what I mean was when you wrap your weaving wire across multiple base wires at once, your base wires will have that tendency to kind of want to get closer together because there's nothing there to separate them obviously. So to help avoid that, what you can always do is take a piece, or that's a scrap piece or what, of the 0.4 mil that you're wrapping with, or if it's another gauge, and then as you're wrapping it, you can keep it between some of the base wires. It's gonna be a little bit more tedious, and obviously time consuming, but then as you're wrapping your weaving wire across, and come down behind you can just put this between the most important place where you don't want your base wires to get too close just to make sure that they're going to keep a good enough distance so you can make sure you can get your weaving wire up between next time you go around and need to use that space so that is a possibility that you can do obviously it's a bit more tedious and time consuming like I said but it's definitely a way that can help you get the spacing right if you feel and if you discover you have a tendency for it to tighten up too much so that's a trick that you can use. And also, like I mentioned, you can use more base wires than this if you want to. So for instance, you can use seven. Like I said, it will have to be an uneven amount because we've got to have that base wire in the middle to be able to make the diamond shape, but also if we want to have a more of a distance between so you can just wrap around that middle wire on its own. So what you would just do is when you get to where I have five, when I got to the point where I wrapped around all of them, you would just have another two, one on each side, and then you would go around them on the, all of those wires as well. So then that would actually be the point of the diamond. It would just be a bit larger. So you can easily do that. It's completely up to you and obviously what you want to use it for. But then that's how you do the weave. So I'm going to continue for a bit now, do some that are close like this, and then I'm going to go on and do some that are a bit further distance between each other to show you what that looks like. So I've then kept going with the weave here, and you can see the difference between the two ways of doing it. So have the diamonds right next to each other continuously or space them out. And what I would say as well, if you want even spacing, what I've just done is in between each diamond there, so when you wrap around the middle wire on its own, just count the amount of wraps that you do. And then when you go to the next one, count them to make sure if you want to get that even spacing, you can get that by counting the amount of wraps. So you make sure you have the same amount between every single one. But then this is what it looks like. And then the back is very similar. It is a bit different, so I would say there is a front and a back, but it's similar. But you can just see the wires cross over a little bit differently if you have a close look. But then this is how you do this weave. A nice decorative one that can be used for many different things. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and thank you very much for watching. Hello there everyone. Today I want to show you how to do this stepped wire weave. And it looks like this. So this is the effect that you can get from it. It's quite a simple and easy wire wrap to do, wire weave, and also it grows quite quickly as well. So if you want to learn how to make this, then keep watching. So what I have here first is just my two lengths of one millimeter wire, and that's just going to be my base wires here that I'm going to demonstrate with. 
And then also we have a length 